Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and today I wanted to make a video regarding my PC. A lot of you guys have been asking about the specs and to show it off a little bit more, so that's what I'm gonna do. But also, I wanted to actually kind of make a video which would talk to you guys about possibly saving up at least for a PC rather than getting the new Xbox Scorpio or the PlayStation Neo. I actually want to try and get you guys to consider at least buying a PC if you like the games such as Fallout, The Witcher, uh, No Man's Sky, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's what this video is going to be about. It's not all going to be face cam. I will be showing off my PC in just a second. So let's switch over to kind of that view. Okay, so what you're seeing on screen right now is my baby. This is my gaming PC in which I use pretty much every day of my life since I've had it. And her name is Clarice. You know, like the Hannibal movie, like, hello, Clarice. That's what I'm like when I wake up and I'm like half asleep. I'm like, hello, Clarice. It's time to make content. But yeah, seriously, this is my baby and it's pretty good. I bought it already made so I didn't pick all of my parts together because that was just kind of stupid of me. It was basically because I wanted it there and then. Once I see something, I want it then. I'm kind of spoiled in that kind of way. So I did pay £900 for this gaming PC already built. Now that is horrendously a lot of money because you can actually make a PC for around about a quarter cheaper honestly it's that easy but this PC in general right here comes with an Intel Core i7 6700 3.4 gigahertz now that's pretty good it's one of the best Intel cores that you can actually get and um, it can actually be I think it's called overclocked to 400 uh, gigahertz a second which is pretty good too now the memory inside it is an 8GB of DDR4 RAM, which is not too bad, I do plan on upgrading it to around about 16 or 32 gigs, which will do me pretty great, uh, but it does actually support up to 64GB in this PC right now. Now the hard drive that I got with this PC was a 2TB SATA HD drive and I also got 120GB of SSD inside the PC anyway. I mostly transfer all of my stuff to my terabyte hard drive because it's just kind of easier and if I ever need to, you know, kind of completely refresh my PC, I will still have all of my stuff right there. It actually does have an optical drive which I will show off a little later on. It came completely with the Windows 10 operating system so I didn't have have to upgrade for free and uh, yeah it comes with a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 with 4 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM and to be honest that is pretty great I can play pretty much every AAA game in ultra settings or high settings every now and then if I really really mod the game like Fallout 4 if I have it heavily modded I will have to play on medium settings, as I do also use shaders, which can also have an impact on your kind of uh, frames per second. Uh, but yeah, also it didn't come with any kind of wireless, but who the fuck would want wireless with a gaming PC, you know? You've got to have it with an actual Ethernet cord to actually get anything done with it. Now it does have only one HDMI port, which is a downside, as I cannot have dual monitors. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty good and the case that you're seeing is the Phantom 240 case and to be honest, it looks great guys, it really does. I am a very much a fan of this uh, PC and I did give it a great review when I actually uh, bought it. I gave a good review and even a video review uh, on the website I bought it from. I bought it from ebuyer.com so if you guys would be interested in getting this PC then feel free to yeah check the link in the description. Have a little look through ebuyer because honestly they have some good deals and they're a really good really reliable website. So this next part, I'm going to just level out with you guys and I'm going to talk to you about my experience with the PCs and why I know for a fact that you guys, if you want to, could have a gaming PC. Okay, so since I was a little kid, you know, my big brother used to play video games. He used to play Sonic, he used to play Super Girls and Ghosts, and I grew up around him, and then I eventually adapted into that kind of hobby. I mean, I've played all sorts of console games. I've played pretty much everything actually. Has anybody ever heard of the Commodore 64? 
Probably not. That is, that is how far I go back. That is how much gaming experience I have. And honestly, guys, I've been a very dedicated console gamer for quite some time now. And only was it this year in which I bought and played my first PC game. And honestly, it opened up my world. It did. It opened up my gaming experience and it also opened up my career experience. You know, if I, I, if I didn't have this PC right now, I would not probably be a YouTuber, and that's pretty depressing to think about, honestly. So, what I'm saying is, you know, I am a very dedicated console player, but I do recommend you guys to save up as much money as you can. Now, I know money is the whole problem here with gaming PCs. They're pretty expensive, and you guys don't know how to build them and stuff. Well, if you don't know how to build them, honestly, just save up for a PC and buy it pre-made from a website such as eBuyer. I'm not trying to promote this website, by the way. I just want to say that, just in case anyone gets any, a little bit suspicious. But no, um, so what I'm saying here is, you know, I am a dedicated console player and I'm not saying PC is the best thing to have, you know, because I still love going on my Xbox and talking to my friends. I feel like the Xbox is much more social than the PC and honestly I hate half the people that I talk to on the PC they all go on about this PC master race bullshit everything is the same PCs PS4s Xboxes Nintendos they're all the same shit they designed to do what they're meant to do they play video games and they play them pretty fucking well whereas the PC what it's a little bit more enhanced but does that make it the superior console no it fucking doesn't it doesn't one bit these devices, these machines, are just the exact same things as their competitors. But I'm telling you this, guys, as I'm saying, do not go for the Xbox Scorpio. Don't go for the PlayStation Neo, because honestly, you will be set back. And I support console gaming all the way. I love consoles, but I'm telling you right now, if you want to adapt to games in the future, if you want to mod pretty much any game that comes out you would very much consider buying a PC. And I know some of you guys rely on your mums and dads because either you're too young to work on income or, you know, you just have a kid like me and you cannot afford to actually save up for this kind of stuff. Well, honestly, when that Xbox, uh, Xbox Scorpio comes out and the PlayStation Neo comes out, you will be paying a premium price for them. You will be paying around about £500 for it. Now, for around about £200 more, you can get a gaming PC that runs twice as better than that console. And that is absolutely crazy. Not only that, but you get cheap games too. I know a lot of people don't really like G2A, but personally, I do use them. And I'm not afraid to say that, you know, they are a website in which get keys. The developers give them those keys, well, most of them anyway, and they do sell them for cheap. So let's think of the up and coming, um, for an example, Destiny, the new DLC. Let's say that DLC is £40 on console. I could get that for around about £20 on the PC or around about $20 cheaper and how is that not appetizing? Honestly guys, I'm not really trying to sell you out on your consoles or anything because I still love playing my Xbox and my PS4, I really do. But if you guys want to adapt to the gaming and you actually want to experience games to the full, such as Fallout 4, very much recommend a gaming PC. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say, to be honest. I've actually been meaning to make this video for quite some time. And considering that I just did my house tour, I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to actually expand on this and I'm going to give my reasons why a dedicated console player now loves the PC. Um... But yeah, thank you all for watching, guys. Tell me if you do end up considering buying a PC. I don't know, it's, it, you know, it's your decision. If you don't like PC gaming, then fair dues, you know. But if you have thought about it in the past, do not be put off by all of these obstacles. Save up, research, and honestly, when you look after these PCs, it takes nothing. It really doesn't. As long as you don't download any viruses and you have, like, McAfee installed or AVG, everything's fine. Everything is absolutely fine. Anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching this video. I do hope that you have an awesome day and lots of Nuka World guides coming in the future. And until next time, I mean Star Lord. Oh, see ya! I'm going to be showing you where to find all 14 Nuka Cola recipes in the new Nuka World DLC. 
Now guys, I would like to say that I have avoided